I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a man is accused of raping a woman while she was babysitting in Chattanooga. The victim told police that Carvanta Petty came into a house where she was watching children in Brainerd. When the kids took a nap, he allegedly locked the front door and raped her. The woman was able to identify Petty because his name was tattooed on his forearm. He's being held in the Hamilton County Jail on a $125,000 bond. A mother of three children is dead after a fire in McMinn County. It happened at a home east of the county airport. 29-year-old Michelle Lynn Guffey was unable to escape the blaze. It's unclear how the fire started. Two people were shot last night near Woodlawn Apartments. A man and woman both suffered non-life-threatening wounds. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. An area man is wanted after he allegedly escaped from police on horseback. Authorities in DeKalb County, Alabama are looking for 36-year-old Joseph Santiago. He's wanted for trespassing and harassment. When a deputy told him he was under arrest, he fled down the side of Sand Mountain on a horse. A new bill would require Tennessee students to pass the U.S. citizenship test before getting a high school diploma. The measure is sponsored by Representative Gerald McCormick of Chattanooga. It's been approved in a House Education Subcommittee and is now awaiting a vote in the Senate. Workers at Chattanooga's Volkswagen plant received the lowest pay of any auto plant in the U.S. A new study says local VW workers make an average of $38 per hour. The highest paid workers are at a Mercedes-Benz plant in Alabama at $65 per hour. And earlier this month, Volkswagen gave its German workers $6,000 bonuses. Police say a woman armed with makeshift weapons showed up at Chattanooga's Social Security offices. 34-year-old Lisa Carroll allegedly had hammers, a mallet, a pry bar, a fire extinguisher, and a fake pistol tucked into her pants. She was ordered to drop the weapons five times and allegedly need an officer in the groin. She's been charged with assault. A lawsuit over school funding in Tennessee could force a tax hike. Hamilton County and six other school systems filed the suit this week. Now House Majority Leader Gerald McCormick says the lawsuit is like suing the state's taxpayers for a tax increase. Chattanooga's biggest independent bank plans to merge within Atlanta Bank. Atlanta Capital Bank shares is paying $160 million to acquire FSG Bank. The merger is expected to be complete this fall. Officials say FSG will continue to operate under its own brand. Medical marijuana is being approved in Georgia. Governor Nathan Deal says he plans to sign the bill into law after the General Assembly ends April 2nd. The bill ends two years of debate. Georgia will be the 37th state to allow medical marijuana. A hazmat team was called to South Broad Street Wednesday. Authorities say a truck lost a large load of animal intestines and feces. The city's Public Works Department had to clean up the mess. After several days of sinking into the Tennessee River, work will start today to refloat the Allen Casey barge. Four pumps will be floated to the vessel after authorities say someone sabotaged it earlier this week. Plans are in action to remove the barge from Chattanooga by May 15th. Chester Frost Park is getting a million dollar upgrade. Workers are updating water and electric lines at campsites, which will give them the option of staying open year round. Finally, the Dalton State Roadrunners are national champions. The men's basketball team won the NAIA Division I title in Kansas City. They beat Westmont 71 to 53. A parade will be held in their honor at 6 p.m. Friday in downtown Dalton. Turning to weather, today will be cloudy with a high near 74 degrees and storms this evening. Tonight's low will be around 42. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.